خاوند تیری آمد و رفت میں آپ سے ہمیشہ تیری حفاظت کرے گا مسیح یسو کے عظیم نام میں آپ تمام نیشنل نیوز دیکھنے والوں پر خدا ان کی سلامتی ہو میں بابر ایمینویل آج صبح آپ سب کو ویلکم کرتا ہوں آج پروگرام خدا ان کی آواز میں ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں ریورنٹ ٹریزا ان کا تعلق نیو جرسی یونائٹڈ اسٹیٹ سے ہیں اور آج کل یہ پاکستان میں ایک مشن ورک پر آئی ہوئی ہیں تو ابھی ہم ان سے ملاقات کریں گے اور ان سے جانیں گے ان کی ساری خدمت کے بارے میں جو وہ یونائٹڈ اسٹیٹس میں کرتی ہیں اور پاکستان میں بھی ان کا کیا مشن ہے اور ان ساری باتوں کو ہم ان کی زبان سے ہی جانیں گے ابھی وقت ہے کہ ملاقات کریں گے ریورنٹ ٹریزا سے وی وارملی ویلکم یو ان آور اسٹوڈیو ریورنٹ ٹریزا تھینک یو اٹس اے گریٹ آنر فار آور اسٹوڈیو اینڈ فار می ڈیٹ یو کیم ہیئر Amen. And uh, we love to hear the voice of God from you today. Oh, thank you. It's my honor. Now, first of all, please let us know about your mission work in U.S. Mm -hmm. and in Pakistan. Oh, I see. Um, in America, currently, I am a, a pastor of a, a cyberspace church called Holy Presence. Holy and Presence. we started this in May. Uh, of this year and uh, in America a lot of uh, churches have been closed down because I mean they're not permanently but temporarily uh, they closed the door to those people who because of COVID pandemic okay, and there's pandemic. so many deaths yeah and, and uh, so many things happening uh, so uh, now what is really famous and popular is uh, online churches so it's uh, beginning to form everywhere and it, uh, many many churches are now adopting media uh, online churches and so yes. they have uh, services all throughout the week and Sunday so uh, that's now in trend but anyway I'm I just started that that's my ministry and also my ministry includes the uh, giving presentation to the churches who invite organ organization that would invite me to speak about uh, or teach about contemplative prayer Uh, such as Centering Prayer, like Sio Divina, and um, uh, Labyrinth Prayer, uh, Ignatian, uh, Prayer of Imagination, and many, many other forms of prayer. And I feel like many people are loved, well, many people grew up in a church and, or a religious home, but uh, and they don't feel like God cares, or they can't relate to God on a personal level. So I feel like, uh, You know, people, if they begin to explore different ways of uh, re relating and connecting to the living God through uh, ancient forms of prayer, that might be very, very enriching and deepening in their faith uh, journey. So uh, I begin to, I've been doing this past three years and presented to many, many churches like uh, Roman Catholic, Episcopal, Roman Catholic. Lutheran, United Methodist, uh, and uh, Baptist, and, and now Pentecostals. <laughs> <laughs> so it's now a very uh, popular thing to do in America, and it's reaching out to all denominations. Uh, even uh, ecumenically, Jewish people are starting to catch up with some things like Centering Prayer or Lexio Divina, which is, uh, they kind of modify it. Instead of Bible, they would use the Koran to uh, meditate. On, Meditation. Yeah, meditate in their ways of relating Reciting. to God. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. So um, it's uh, Lexio Divina. Centering Prayer is more like uh, It's a formless, apophatic kind of prayer relating to God, who's it, it present in all nature, and uh, basically uh, speaks to people through silence. Silence. Yeah, and then like centering prayer, as you become more attuned to silence, and you get to know your feelings and thoughts and memories and everything and you begin to see pattern within yourself so you get to discover who you are in a much sharper way than ever before and centering prayer also uh, is creates a space and a context where God's spirit can come in and work through uh, the materials that you've never been aware of before so it's very uh, therapeutic kind of prayer that kind of calms your brain down as well okay. and uh, Lexio Divina is uh, has a component of reflection and listening to God it's like two-way street communication you listen to God and then 
let God speak to you and you speak to God and your response to God as you reflect on God's word all together uh, in a combination of listening and talking, listening and praying. So, um, and then prayer of imagination talks about using God-given imagination to ent enter into the Bible stories or uh, basically Bible sto Bible uh, narratives and and actually s use five senses like smelling, seeing, yeah. and touching to connect with the f Bible stories in different stories and talk to them and uh, and then God can speak to you in a very real way, especially if you're in tune with uh, thinking in in mental pictures because there are people who love to do thinking and processing through word but then there's the people who loves to uh, process things with pictures so you got to know which kind, which one you are there are some combination people too but if you find the one ways that can that can help you to foster and connect with god with your natural faculties uh, that's in tune, that's kind of inclined to, I think it'll be very effective. I want to ask one thing more. Mm -hmm. When we start the meditation, mm -hmm. what is the time to spend in, in loneliness? Oh, so like in Centering Prayer, the minimum you spend is 20 minutes. Okay. And it's couched by a uh, scripture verse or inspirational article. Uh, and then ringing of the bell or any kind of sound and then 20 minutes of silence okay. and then prayer it ends in prayer like that and then Lexio Divina is uh, component is divided into four parts and there's okay. a silent sacred reading reading of the scripture two times and waiting for God to speak to you through word or phrase from the scripture and then the second stage is uh, you begin to meditate Meditate. You meditate, reflect how this word or phrase that is highlighted to your consciousness, how that relates to you in a personal way and in your own life here and now. And then there, there's two, three minutes of silence. And the third one is uh, oratio part, which has to do with your response and uh, offering to God for the insights that you've gained from the first and second stage. And, and then you do it in a way that is thanksgiving or if you sense that God wants you to do be in a certain way or do something yeah. you could incorporate that so listening to God in first and second stage and then meditate uh, responding to God in the third stage and then the fourth stage is the contemplation which is a gift and which is a gift of God coming down and just like giving you the rest and giving you the peace so you become like a little baby like sleeping in the tender arms yeah. of mom so then you don't have to reflect on it or or do anything you just be with the presence of god with god 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 self you know Praise and Lord. so Praise those Lord. are the it's kind of well structured timing but once when you get the gist of it you can just like pull you right in like it's habitually a, it's a unique way to meet the god yeah, yeah, I think so. I, and it's a uh, 1600 years old from that could be found in the Christian history. Hmm. So it's not a new thing. It's been there for ancient years of time and it's effective. Now, ma'am, I want to listen about your mission work in Pakistan. Will you please tell uh, about yes. that? So uh, I am being invited to travel to different cities okay. in Pakistan uh, and uh, I am presenting three and a half hours of, uh, or three hours of uh, the Centering Prayer Seminar, Lexio Divina Seminar. In different cities? And, yeah, different cities in different churches. Uh, so that's what I've been doing, women's group. Okay. So I've been preaching, teaching, and uh, encouraging, and uh, training leaders so they can do present this themselves to other groups. About the Centering Prayer. And yes, and Lexio Divina. Uh, praying with the scripture and then praying with the imagination. Ji Nazreen, बहुत खूबसूरत बातें Reverend Trisha के साथ. तो अभी वक्त है कि खुदा उनकी जिंदा आवाज को हम उनसे सुनेंगे. और मैं एक और चीज आपको बताना चाहता हूँ कि खुदा उन्हें अपने बंदों को तैयार करता है कि जिस तरह से हमने देखा कि खुदा उन्हें यसुम सी के शिक्षितों ने पूरी दुनिया में जाकर अंजील की मुनादी की और आज ये हमारे लिए वैसे खुशी है. के पूरी दुनिया में क्रिश्चियनिटी इस वक्त 
خداوند کے فضل سے اس کا ایک نام ہے اور سب سے زیادہ تعداد میں ہے یہ سارا انہی مشنری ورکرس کی بدولت سے ہیں اور ابھی بھی ہمارے ساتھ مدر ٹریزا اس وقت موجود ہیں جو اپنے مشن وقت پہ ہیں اور جو پاکستان میں جو عورتیں ہیں اور مختلف کلیسیاں ہیں ان میں جا کر سینٹرنگ پریئر کے حوالے سے بتا رہے ہیں کہ کس طرح سے ہم خداون کے ساتھ اپنا ایک رشتہ بحال کر سکتے ہیں تنہائی میں جس طرح سے ہم نے اکثر بائبل میں دیکھا بلکہ پڑھا ہے انجیل میں کہ خدا یہ سمسی اکثر اور ہر صبح کے ٹائم وہ تنہائی میں جا کر دعا کیا کر سر اور لکھا ہے کہ بہت بہت دیر تک وہ دعا میں ٹھہرتے تھے تو ابھی ہمارے ساتھ جو مدر ٹریزا موجود ہیں وہ اسی چیزوں کے حوالے سے ہمیں بتانا چاہ رہی ہیں کہ ہمیں زیادہ سے زیادہ وقت تنہائی میں خدا سے باتیں کرنے میں کس طرح سے گزارنا ہے تاکہ ہم لوگ خدا کی آواز کو سن سکیں تو ابھی وقت ہے کہ ہم ریون ٹریزا سے خدا ان کی آواز کو سنیں گے Psalm 46 uh, talks about God uh, talking to the Israelites to be quiet and listen to the voice of God, especially when you are in trouble and when you are in need of uh, God in times where it is very chaotic and violent and all kinds of uh, stuff is happening. So I want to read you this uh, scripture. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in uproar, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The Lord of hosts is with us. Come, behold the work of the Lord. See what desolation he has brought to the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. So, I want to encourage you, especially in this time of COVID pandemic, where there are so many people are ill and actively dying, and where there are so many grief and lamentations because their loved one has just died uh, because of this pandemic, this Delta virus, this COVID virus, and so on. We are living in a very difficult time, a time where so many refugees are from especially all parts of the world, but especially Afghanistan, are uh, on the run. I know last week in New Jersey, where I live, uh, 24,000 uh, refugees from Afghanistan came, and they were able to come out of their country where there's so much oppression and so much violence. And there was a, so much rejoicing in their expression when they landed from the airport or landed away from the U.S. Uh, air, airplane, uh, airport, aircraft carrier. Uh, there is a lot of uh, discrimination, injustice, economic oppression, financial difficulties because of loss of jobs, uh, all kinds of racial discrimination, religious discrimination, and persecutions. And, that, and so it, our world is very shaky. And a lot of people I know are living in fear, uncertainty, full of anxiety, ambivalence. They don't know what the future will hold. 
in this time of chaos and crazy making, God is saying to you, be still and know that I am God. I believe that God wants us to know, Christ wants us to know that the Holy God dwells inside of us in our private space, in our private sanctuary, 24 hours, 7 days a week. God is willing to lovingly, mercifully speak to you. But oftentimes we don't, we are so distracted by all kinds of phenomena happening in this world, all kinds of sadness, anger, grief in our hearts. So much distractions and depressions because of job situation, because of the relationship that is broken. Or so much losses and uncertainties of the future. But God is saying to you, come to me. Remember all the faithful acts that I have done to you. And, and don't be discouraged. Don't be in desolation. But look to the hope. And I will give you the consolation. God wants you to spend time with Him. God wants you to open yourself, all your uncertainties, insecurities, and brokenheartedness. God wants you to open up and let God come in and surrender all your uh, sense of need, whatever that may be. If you need healing, God is there for you. If you need money, God is there for you to help that to make it happen. If you need any connections or whatnot, God will help you. If you open yourself up and truly say, here I am God, I am naked. I come before you. There's nothing I can hide, but create in me a desire. Create in me this holy restlessness, this longing to seek your face for you and you alone, not for the gift or not for the benefit that I will receive from you. But I want to be in relationship with you. Help me. So if you have that kind of motivation, God will come and meet you where you are. No matter where you're from, what kind of experience you've been through, what kind of pain and trauma you went through, God loves you and understands your very fiber of being. So, uh, God, I believe that uh, you can come to God. And oftentimes, prayer such as centering prayer, praying with the scripture called Lexio Divina, praying with Ignatius, praying with imagination, maybe walking prayer, like walking the labyrinth. And all these meditation can help you to, as you ruminate God's word, God's promises in both Old Testament and New Testament, you will begin to deepen your faith and trust in God. Uh, in the midst of all the craziness, you will find hope, you will find God's intervention in the most practical and real way possible. So I would like to encourage you to learn uh, from these. Perhaps you can go to a, a website called contemplativeoutreach.org and they will give you a lot of resources as to learn how to do this kind of prayer that is ancient Christian form of prayer that's about 1600 years old. And begin to connect to God in the way, in the, in the style that matches your personality. Because not one size fits all people. Everyone has different size shoes, just like that. We're all diverse. We have different personality. We have different ways of um, processing things. And we have different forms, probably more than 50 types of forms of prayer. And learn from it. I like to encourage you to connect with it. And I like you to continue your seeking. As you seek, 
continuously the face of God. God will meet you. Even if it takes supernatural force for God to reveal Christ to you, Christ himself to you, you will meet him. God is not a joker. You cannot mock God. God will meet you in a most real way. So I'd like to encourage you to be real because God can never be a figment of your imagination. The deep longing you feel is, is because you are hungry and thirsty for the living God who created your whole spirit, mind, and body, and the whole being. And because we are like a vacuum, God-shaped vacuum, that can only be filled with having an intimate relationship with God, we can never be satisfied with any other things like money or like power or fame or even security. You will find total satisfaction when you meet and have communion with your Creator. Christ forgave all your sins, no matter what you did, how shameful you feel, or how weak you feel, or how contemptible you feel about yourself. I want you to know that God loves you. Even that fragmentedness of yourself, of, of the self that you think it is something, I want you to know that God wants to say that you are created in God's image. You have a divine spark in you. And God wants to meet you. That deep core of being where you yearn for that closeness. So. Thank you for listening, and may God bless you in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.